Hi, my name is Jerry Mikulski and I'd like to introduce you to Design From Trust, a powerful ethical process you've probably already experienced. Uh, the essence of Design From Trust is nicely captured in the open source community saying, assume good intent. Notice it's not assume everybody's good. Uh, it's realistic. But since you're probably not an open source programmer, uh, I think we can find some common ground because you probably looked at the Wikipedia. Can you go back in your mind to that moment when you first began to realize how Wikipedia works? The idea that every page says edit, which then means that any idiot around the world can come in and mess around with the world's encyclopedia. Um, you probably had a, a reaction that a lot of people have, which is, oh shit, this is impossible. This will never ever work. Well, congratulations. That's a common reaction to uh, people encountering systems designed from trust because we're not used to trust. Trust me, we're, we're, we're unaware most of our systems are designed from mistrust. At that point, when you started to realize what was going on with Wikipedia, you probably took one of two paths. Um, either you just bailed on Wikipedia and you're like, this, this is insane and I'm not going to try this anymore and besides at school they're saying don't use it. Or you dug a little deeper into some area that you know a bunch about and you went and looked at those pages in Wikipedia and probably you walked away impressed. You might have had a second reaction that people have when they hit the systems that are designed from trust. You might have said, oh shit, this thing works. It's kind of crazy. But it works and I kind of like it. I'd maybe like some more of this. Congratulations. You're starting to see design from trust. Wikipedia isn't perfect, a discussion I'll save for later. Uh, but thank goodness there are dozens of other examples of design from trust already in existence around the world. I've listed many of the examples that I've found in this illustration from the sharing economy where you climb into a stranger's car and they take you someplace or you let somebody else stay in your home while you're away. Uh, to the for benefit sector where corporations no longer have the pressure to only extract profits from everything they touch and things like open space and unconferences where you trust that the people you've invited to an event are actually smart enough to figure out what they ought to be talking about rather than you designing uh, a plenary with a keynote speaker and panels and sort of architecting and engineering everything for them. I'll do a much deeper tour of these initiatives in a separate video. The bad news is that we lost trust in humans a really long time ago, and today most of our institutions are designed from mistrust of the average human. They use coercion to keep people in line doing the same thing, rather than finding ways to release the genius that is already present. So, for example, we have a compulsory education system. Uh, you can be compelled to put your children in school. Uh, when you do so, the school is designed for mistrust. They, the school doesn't trust, and apparently all of us don't trust, that children are curious and that they're trying to find their way forward and that we as a community uh, or a community of communities might find ways to educate them really well. Instead, we separate them into one-year cohorts, we put them through the same steps and stages over time. We in fact ask them to perform two tests that are going to try to indicate whether we trust that they've learned anything or not in the future. Um, Instead, what we get is very high stress. We get students who are disaffected, disconnected, alienated. Uh, in fact, uh, student suicide rates are, really, are pretty high, uh, even in the most prestigious of schools, because there the pressure is often highest. Uh, layer on top of this, uh, school shootings, bullying, and a whole series of things that really make this a complicated setup. But there's really very little trust in the institution of compulsory education at this point. It will not surprise you that often there is not much trust in the corporate world. Corporations, in fact, are often the most autocratic, hierarchical institutions out there. Uh, what the top brass says goes. Everybody is separated into silos so that we can measure them and tell who failed to deliver uh, the goods on the next goals. Um, we don't really trust employees to work things out. Uh, if we did, we would turn to things like workplace democracy. We would find ways of letting people make more decisions on their own and have more local autonomy, but we seldom do that. We are in the middle of a pretty deep trust crisis worldwide. Uh, governments are swinging toward autocratic populism. Uh, they're undermining the press and its credibility. Businesses are doing stupid things and breaking our trust. 
And in fact, there's a lot of ways in which businesses breach our trust without even knowing that they do, like the stalker economy. And we are in our nostrils uh, in the stalker economy where companies stalk your data, mine your data, cross-sell it, and then try to sell you more things because they know pretty much everything about you. Just, just look, at every, look at the trail of, of things you've liked and said on Facebook, on Snapchat, and other kinds of places. As you can probably tell by now, Design From Trust touches almost every sector of our lives. Uh, it affects how we educate our kids, how we design our cities, treat our employees, invent new ideas, grow our food, mind our commons, a word we've forgotten, and so on and so forth. This really touches everything. In fact, Design From Trust offers a consistent framework that can align all the different kinds of projects that communities and companies are trying to undertake to find their way back to trust. Trust is a funny concept. It's a word we think we understand, we think we take it for granted, but we don't really think about it very deeply. Um, and the more I've dug into this idea of design from trust and looked at how trust plays out in our society, the more I'm realizing that we are just babes in the woods. We've, we've forgotten the meaning of these concepts and we, we need to find our way back to them. Design from trust is a big win for a lot of parties. Not everyone, but a lot of parties. Would you rather spend uh, $500 million on a big ad campaign to launch a product nobody's ever heard of, or trust people who love your product to tell other people about it in a contagious way and bring other people on board because they're so enthusiastic about what you do and how you do it. It turns out that trust is often cheaper than control. Uh, and as a big side benefit, it releases the genius that's already in the room and it also reconnects people. It, it creates again, it weaves again, that thing we call the fabric of society. There's a reason we call it the fabric, is that all those little threads, all those little connections are the connections between people, their trust connections, their relationships. So trust is a big win all around. It also pisses some people off because I said earlier that every institution pretty much is designed for mistrust and institutions have bureaucracies, they have people with title and rank and salary and status, and they're not that eager to give these things up for some other way of doing things that may or may not be better, but it likely won't be better for them. So I think that marching forward, there are going to be a lot of irritated people who will be learning about design from trust and who will have to find their way to um, figure out, can they actually work that way? Can they be in that world? They'll have to figure out what are their new skills? How do they develop an attitude uh, that starts with kind of optimism rather than pessimism? I think all of this is actually really exciting and uh, I'm eager to press forward on what this is, how it works, and how anybody, whether a corporation or an individual, can use it. Because Design From Trust scales all the way up from, from urban planning and, and, and country uh, sort of diplomacy right down through corporate strategy all the way down to individual practice. All of these layers are things we'll get to as we examine Design From Trust. Thanks for your attention. The links at the end of this video will take you deeper into this voyage and in fact help you join the voyage itself.